Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we are showing how to draw a person uh, hunched over on a bench. So a person sitting on a bench and there's a slight hunch in the posture. So we'll put our bench somewhere there. Let's give it a dimension. So I would recommend we always recommend light strokes. So it doesn't have to be a fancy bench or you could give the bench details as you go along. Right now I'm just putting in a casual bench. I haven't even determined how long it's going to be because the real object is focusing on that person. There's the back of the bench. You just go that far has to be essentially straight so it doesn't have to be a park bench it does not have to be any particular bench so but just this surface will do to have the person now sit on it so we have center line so we'll in this case we will start with the bottom of the uh, the person's uh, body, the legs. So one, two, and there's four shortening in this. So as you see, I'm just we are just going with a hanger-like shape here, and shoulder set right there now I know that that looks sort of uh, strange that a person would have a torso like this short but from a perspective point we will see that it's going to work so shoulder set right there and head will be somewhere here depending on how hunched we want to show this person so right here We'll put in some details. So sort of this person is wearing slacks and we have feet placed at those angles. So that is the set of legs. And then we go back, put in the torso. Hands. And the head right here. So it's beginning to look like a person. But there's some there are a few different things we can do with this. We can have a lot of fun. Leaving the legs as they are for now. Let's just first put in the details. So, one, two, three, four. So, fingers are fine. So that's one angle that we have used in a hunched over pose from the front view. Okay, so we have that, but we can also do something different with this. So different as in we could have the person hunched even lower so everything this doesn't come down a whole lot except that if you can just go like this it 
You can see the hands are still somewhere around the same point, sitting here on the lap, not going lower. And we could always have them. The easy point is that we just go like that. So they're hanging again side by side. Or we could intersect them, but again, that's a different exercise. It'll take a little longer to illustrate that. So that can be an exercise of its own. And we could explore that in a different video. So now with the head, we could do a few things as well. So one is that, okay, so the person is just looking straight on. eyes, nose, mouth, let's say the head of hair is like that, okay, so that can actually work, or you could also show the same person, like, uh, we've seen this popularly in in day-to-day in -day images, that the head is hanging a little lower, so bring it lower down, that is the placement and right here so eyes nose and mouth not that prominent from this angle ears somewhere around here head of hair showing like that and that can actually really work to get the image going so a lot of fun to be had with this particular posture. Do try it out. Google some images. You could always make the legs a little shorter, closer to the person, depending on what perspective you would like to take and from what angle you're looking at it. So please do Google some images and you can really have a lot of fun with this. So please let us have your comments and your suggestions. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Keep in touch. Have yourself a wonderful day.